This video is a follow-up on how to create your own skater with custom textures. So if your files don't look like this, please watch the previous video. Link in description. Now there are two things that you need to have. One, a photo editing software, so Photoshop. Or if you don't have Photoshop, I would recommend Paint.net. It's a free version of Photoshop, in a way, not one for one. It is Windows only though, so I'll link that in the description as well. Second, there is a paste bin link that I want to share with you. And here is a Mediafire link to all the Skate 3 textures. This will help you find your textures a lot more fluently. First off, let's just get this out of the way. In your Coach Frank Skate Shop folder, there is a paintbucket.exe. Click that and it'll tell you to install things. Make sure to uncheck this because I'll just link you to a website. Next, if you downloaded that Mediafire texture link, open the folder and then here is everything that you can customize. I'll set that to the side. Next, I will make another file, so Control N, or just hit the plus button on the tab if you're on Windows 11. Now I will find the textures that are within my game. If you forget where that's located, right click on Skate 3 in RPCS, go to Open Folder, Open Disk Game Folder, User Directory, Data, Content, and Create a Character. And there you should see textures. Now we want to put that off to the side as well. Now there's a couple things you have to know. You can modify any texture in here, that's just fine, but there's something different with shoes and deck textures. One is clean and the other one's dirty. The clean one is the texture that you see in the edit skater. The dirty one is the texture that you see outside of edit skater. So if you want to edit a texture, you make sure you choose the dirty one of the two. So for my example, I will be making a deck texture. Preferably you want to choose the plain boards because that's just a lot easier to use. I will take this white texture and open it up in my photo editing software. For me, it's Photoshop. There, I will now create my deck using this image made by Oak Street Glokes, who made a Skate 3 reference Starfield wallpaper. Opening it up, the opacity is really low, so I would recommend just duplicating the layers and then adjusting it through there. So now that I'm done customizing my deck, I now save it as a PNG. Here, I want to save it in the folder of the Coach Frank Skate Shop. I will make a new folder called Finished PNG and save it in there. When you save it, delete the out portion in the name. Once saved, copy the name, and then go to your in-game texture folder. Then you want to paste it in the search to find that texture. There, you can copy that, and then within the Coach Frank folder, make another folder called PSG. There, you could save that texture in there. Now head over to the Paint Bucket tool, open that up, and then we'll ask you for a PSG and a PNG. You click on the PNG, and you go to the finished PNG, and click that one. Then you go to PSG and go to the PSG folder and click that one as well. Then you click Combine. The program now spits out another PSG. From there, I would just make another folder called Finish PSG and place it in there. Now you want to rename the file by deleting everything after the underscore. Now you can copy your finished PSG, head over to your in-game texture folder, and then paste that in there. And you want to make sure you overwrite it. Now you can boot up your game, and if you boot it up and it says it's corrupted, that means you didn't follow the directions of the first video, so I suggest you go back to watch that. Now once I'm in game, I go to Edit Skater, head to the decks, and choose the white deck. And as you can see, it's still white, because I changed the overworld texture, not the Edit Skater texture. So once I back out, boom, there it is. My Starfield X Skate 3 deck. I'll do another example, but with shoes, specifically these green shoes. I've always hated how they looked. I want to change that color. So, I close the game to make sure I'm not messing with any files that are currently active. So I find the texture within that PS3 export folder that I mentioned, open in Photoshop, change the hue, save it in finished PNG, copy the name, head to the in-game texture folder, paste it, copy that texture, put it in the PSG folder within the Coach Frank Skate Shop folder, open up Paint Bucket, select the PNG, select the PSG, combined, put it in the finished PSG, then copy paste in my in-game texture folder. Boot up the game, go to Edit Skater, Shoes, Pute Green Shoes, select that. And now once I'm out of Edit Skater, they are now purple. Cool, I have completed a skater that I really like and I wanted to share it with other people. So first, take a screenshot of your skater. This is going to be to promote what the skater looks like. Going back to the Skate Shop folder, there is an exe called Maker. This is where you make it into a CFSS file. Here it will ask you for your screenshot of your skater. So click the button, add the photo. At the top, it asks for a name. This will be the file name for your skater. Here is the description, call it whatever you want. And on the bottom, it asks for the custom textures and your skater.p. Click on the custom textures, go to the folder called finished PSG and click on the file. You want to do this for each texture because you can't select multiple at once. 
Then on to the right, it asks for a skater.p, which is your game's save. So you go to your RPCS location, go to dev hdd0, home, z1, save data, then look for a file called alias skater. There should be your skater.p. Then hit export cfss. Your customizable skater is now in that file format. You can then head to the modding server where you go to the cfss tab and share your wonderful creation. Hopefully by making this video, there will be more custom skaters to share because this page is really dry.